So that's Runic? Hedicol's base of operations? That's right. I also managed to piece together more about her. One thing doesn't track. She moves like a Mando, fights like she's been trained by the best, but I couldn't find a clan affiliation. I'm certain she's one of us, but it's strange. Whatever she is, people follow her. Years back, she ran a small team of outcasts for a while. They became her inner circle. This group was responsible for several raids against both Republic and Imperial interests. She owes nothing to either side. In fact, looking at her targets and the chaos she left behind, it goes much deeper than gathering resources. There has to be a reason behind the attack on the Spirit of Vengeance and the Kadera Banner. Agreed. The only thing I know is that she holds a grudge with two hands. What else did you learn? She's gone to great lengths to hide her location. False trails, dead contacts, and now runic. The planet is in the middle of some kind of electrostatic storm. Messes with communication and navigation. Prime location for a hideout. After the ambush on the Spirit of Vengeance, she's been busy building up her forces, applying pressure, and making the occasional threat to a number of clans. Rumors say her group is making a move soon. You've been at this for months. How did you find her? Her drive to gather more support left a trail. I admit, it was less complicated to track my targets when I was a bounty hunter and not Mandalore the Avenger. Sometimes it was an advantage, but more often my leads would scatter before I arrived. Now that I have a location, I need help getting close enough to see those blasted horns on her helmet. Make no mistake, she's mine when the time comes. Is that clear? What's yours is yours, Shay. Good. Meet me in the hangar. My stealth craft should get us down to the planet without being spotted. But when the time is right, Hedicol will hear my challenge and see my blade. We're in position, Mandalore. And for the record, I'm not fond of this plan of yours. I hear you. But I won't risk her bolting if that storm can't hide our fleet. You could be walking into a trap. I'm counting on it. I'll keep an eye on things, Takaya. See that you do. Mandalore. Good hunting. Well, well, look who it is. I knew I should have packed my spaceship crashing pants. Ras Ordo. Right in the middle of all this, I see. You know me. Hate to disappoint. Load up, everyone. Take off in three. Time to sharpen our blades. Here we go, Runic. Lots of rocks. Big mining venture a long time ago, but nothing since. Probably because of that. Wow, sensors are not pleased. Lots of noise and false echoes. Take your positions. We're going in. The attack on the Spirit of Vengeance, now a base way out here. What changed? A lot of credits. Raids, Clan Harangir's old money coffers, stealing cartel drops, it all adds up. Hedda builds her army with real Mandalorians, but uses Darmanda mercs as blaster fodder. They're perfect for her. No loyalty to anything. Some of them live up to the name, others are just happy to take the credits. Makes sense. I'm betting half their troops don't even know what Darmanda means.
Okay, we're close. I know they have a base down here, but I had to back off before I could pinpoint it. Hang on! Blast! That was a probe droid! Everyone good? We're fine. We need to track it down fast. Wait, give me a sec. Okay, there. Take this data spike. The signal is a little weird, but it should get the droids working for us. Brass, I'm expecting some reinforcements, so keep an eye out. Understood. And for the record, I prefer watching a crash landing over being in a crash landing. Everybody stay off comms starting now. That storm's giving us some cover, but we don't know who's listening. This is the first time I've made it planet side. Not sure what to expect, so keep your eyes open. I always do. Come on, we need a better view of the area. That storm is cutting down visibility. Hedda picked her hideout well. damaged, but we can't chance it sending an alert. Data spike is online. The droid is sending an all clear. Rass and his weird signal did it. I'm also getting locations for additional droids in the area. Let's track them down. Spike in. We're clear. Down. One more left. That should be it. With the conditions out here. They must swap these out regularly. Let's see if we can find where they're coming from. There's a structure up ahead.
Wait, wait, we're just technicians. You work for Hedda Cole? Who? No, Darmanda hired us. Look, we came straight from orbit. No questions asked. Some kind of top secret thing, okay? We're here to check on some droids. Then you have no value. Hold on! Darmanda has another group of techs down here. They're setting up a relay station to cut through all the storm interference. All comms will go through there. That's worth something to you, right? What are you doing? Bask will kill us! Where's the relay station? You must be the smart one. Talk. I, I don't know. Not exactly. But here, take this. Maybe there's something that can help in there. So, what happens with me? A little beauty sleep. What? Risky. Maybe. Let's get this back to rest. Have you found anything useful on that device, Ras? I did, despite a few interruptions. Reinforcements are here. Not surprised to see you here, Akavi. Hedda Cole owes a debt of honor. I would see it paid. A few more blasters to make sure we don't get eaten by some kind of rock monster. You said you found something. We'll talk later. Yes, some fancy slicing and a bit of math, and I've got a likely location for the relay station. I've gotta say, this would be easier if we used comms, even if they're glitchy. Silence is just slowing us down. We won't have to remain quiet for much longer. When the time is right, it'll be a firestorm. That relay station gives us an advantage on the ground and might put us on Hedda's trail. About that. Maybe let us handle the relay station? I've got an idea about that trail you're looking for. Go on. Well, the data from the device got me thinking about Hedda's base. You know where it is? Not exactly. Here, look at this. I added the relay station data to the patrol routes we got from the droids. See that? I mean, it's a lot to cover, but it's something. This is good. There are only a few places her base could be. We'll need to do this on foot. Wish I had my old hunting strill. Wait, you had a dog? A Strill. Oh, they're the best! Ras. Right. Okay. Yes. Second team will head to the relay tower, and you two will search for the base. Is there any way to cut down on the search area? Time's a factor here. Not that I can see. I make too many assumptions, and we could waste even more time. Before you head out, take these. A little something I've been working on. Let's you listen in on the bad guys. Might be handy. I'll go prep. Give the signal when you're ready to move. Well, here we are again. Jakaya sends his regards. He said he likes knowing you've got Mandalore's back. I mean, I assume he meant my back too? Has he had any issues since being named Arbiter for the Mandalorians? Not really. I mean, he's very enthusiastic about telling everyone what to do. <laughs> I should have warned Mandalore about that. It's strange. I saw him lead people in battle, under fire, carrying wounded, all of it. But rarely sorting out some twisty political dispute. He's good at it. Well, of course he is. I'm just getting used to the different uniform, you know? What about you? Learn to play the grouty harmonic? Save the galaxy a few more times? I'm constantly trying to be everywhere at once. And today you're here. I get it. I owe you one. Learn anything else while we were gone? Not much. Comms are rough, but you knew that. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Another thing. We underestimated our enemy's forces. The number of ships we saw coming in was impressive. We need to do something about them. I'm not sure what. I believe you. I've seen you improvise. Reminds me, I've got more gear to pack if I'm gonna slice a relay station. I'll leave you to it. Akavi. It seems you haven't ceased looking for a worthy foe. Galaxy seems to be full of them. Plus, there's all that stuff about honor and courage. Not mere words. No, of course not. It's just making conversation. 
Mandalore has requested our aid to get her within striking distance of this imposter Hedda Cole. We cannot fail. Her followers were once true Mandalorians, but they were weak and they fell. Whatever you think of them, they put up a fight when I faced them during the attack on Jakaya and the Spirit of Vengeance. Hedda has given them purpose. We should be careful not to underestimate her. Agreed. I would be foolish to think her blade isn't sharp. But we waste time. You have a trail to follow and I have a relay station to find. Whatever mining company was here, they must have left in a hurry. And they left a lot for Hedda to scavenge. Signal amplifiers? Makes sense. Comms are a mess. Adjusting sound. Field Marshal wants a report on the probe droids. Dust must be making them touchy. This is a waste of time. Be patient. Clan of Rongir has been very generous. Our place is assured when this war is over. Clan Harangir? I figured we'd see them around here. Like I said before, they're old money. Many clans got rich from plunder during the Mandalorian Wars generations ago. They want those days back and head as the answer. She sees the independence of that time as the purest form of honor. Problem is, mistaking greed for righteousness almost destroyed us. Let's move out. Must be on the right track. See those signal amplifiers? The armor looks like Clan Varad. If you don't report in, I have to come out here. That makes your clan look incompetent. I answer to the field marshal, not you. Eight. 
Educate this new recruit, or it's on you. Clear? Yes, Rakan. I will bleed him and his sister. Rakan earned his glory and blood. Don't shame me again in front of him. Grab your gear. We're on watch for the landing area. They mentioned the landing area. Let's take a closer look. Rakan mean anything to you? No. Let's go. Got some signal amplifiers over there. You see them? See anything? Ships. Definitely the landing area. Well hidden, walled off. We're not getting in that way. I see some Varad troops. Movement. Our man to patrol. You see our people on your way back? Nothing but blasted heat and animals. Something going on? Your techs didn't report in either. First of all, they don't report to Varad. Second, the comms are a mess. Don't worry about it. The field marshal wants that relay station up and running now. Patrol's done. I'm off the clock. You worthless Minog lovers. Grab your truck, people. We're checking on that relay station.
A Varad patrol is headed right for our people. We break comm silence to warn them we risk jeopardizing this whole mission. They can handle themselves. We need to help them if we can. Partek. Okay, make the call. Keep it short. Second team, you hear me? I hear you. Comms are not secure. Large, heavily armed squad headed in your direction, approaching your flank. Understood. We'll be ready. Hope that was worth it. Let's see if we can find a way into that landing area. Okay, I have spliced into the comms. That should make things easier. You seeing anything bad out there, Akavi? Nothing yet. All quiet. Is the perimeter all wired up for our surprise? Okay, just asking. Spread of communication and all that. Movement! Perimeter breached! Let's see what we got! There's more coming! Time to even the odds! I think we found a way in. A comm tower. Guards. Cargo reference 011 SOV2. These artifacts are tagged to be reviewed today. You think it's the field marshal's new recruit? We don't ask. What about the new ship acquisitions? Quality vessels. Mostly carriers and long-haul ships being repurposed for her fleet. More on the way. They're a shot. We need to get in there and cut communications so her fleet can't be mobilized. We've been lucky so far.
this mess.
this mess. Jedi. Padawan. My master was murdered. Condolences. Now put that thing down. No. Hang on. I recognize you from the Elam reports. You and your master ran into Malgus, right? What? You're Sahar Katin. How do you... Wait. I know who you are. What do you want? Sahar! It's Rakan. Where are you? I need you to bring that holocron back to... Shay! Where's Hedekal? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's take a breath here. Let's talk. Tell her to back off. Darth Null's holocron. What did Malgus want with it? Just go! Get out of here! I don't know anything that can help you! What's going on? What does Hedda have to offer? You wouldn't understand! Try me. And she destroyed my tracker. We got nothing. Harchuk! It's only a matter of time before she sounds the alarm and brings an army back here. Come on. We need to ground the whole operation until we locate Hedda. We needed information. Sahar was the only one who could have told us more about Darth Null's holocron. Hedda is my only concern. Don't get distracted. Let's move out. This has to be the command center. See if you can find out where Hedda's hiding. I'll scan for any uninvited guests. There's nothing about a location for Hedda's base, but it looks like we control the only communication tower. Then we bring Hedda to me. Blow this place to dust, cut off comms, and send up a flare she can't miss. I'm betting it'll take time for Sahar to get back to Hedda. We do this, she might bolt. We have to act, now. Unless you have a better idea, I'm taking this place out and setting off every alarm. Alarms? You have an idea? Maybe. You had a hunting dog, right? A Strill, yeah. Why? I bet he loved to play fetch. A false alarm. Send her fleet to chase empty space. 
You'd have to leave the comm center in one piece. I like messing with Hedda's toys, but I don't want to miss a chance to cripple her network. The smart move is to remove complications. Hedda's fleet is a complication. Fine. Do it. Before I change my mind. Now I'll cut all communication to those ships. Can't have her dogs being called back too soon. Wouldn't be able to if we blew the whole place up. Okay. Let's see if anything around here leads to Hedda. Complication removed. Stay sharp. Hedda isn't stupid. We need to get moving. Let's move out. Nothing so far. We might need to make more noise. Over here! Find anything? A few pieces from the Spirit of Vengeance. The Ashad had very specific goals in mind with that attack. I didn't expect someone following the Jedi ways to be fighting for Hedda Cole. What do you think is happening there? Zahar isn't making any sense. There has to be more to this. Maybe. Doesn't matter much to me as long as she stays out of my way. I'm not finding anything here. Let's move on. Nothing so far. See if you can find anything on that console. Well, well. 
Not who I was hoping to catch. I shouldn't be surprised. Sahar mentioned she ran into you. Your attempts to question her loyalty failed. There's nothing stronger than family. Mm, you look uncomfortable. <laughs> At least I know Basque wasn't lying about the power of these sonic weapons. And hey, no hard feelings. I know there's a lot of drama between us, but that's all ancient history. But no Shay, I see. Anything to avoid her duties as Mandalore. No doubt she'll be along soon to face me. She'll stop you! She's welcome to try. Shay has always been a reluctant Mandalore, choosing to chase me rather than lead. The Mandalorians are scattered and uncertain. They could be an unstoppable force with the right leadership. And that's you? Shay's arrival was expected, but your involvement is a delicious wrinkle. You were doing so well slithering around like a jacar, and the ploy with my ships? <laughs> Clever, but I'll let you in on a secret. Warning your minions gave your little invasion away. You're different from the usual hired guns. I like you. So, do I use you as bait or cut your throat? I challenge you. Face me with honor, or show your followers what you truly are. Shay. Hera. I accept. The standard trappings are right here and now. Anytime, anywhere. Runak is a dull place. Let's give my people a show. Take her. Bring him. Any problems in transport, it's your head, Darmanda. You should have killed this one when we had the chance. No profit in doing that. I'm sure the field marshal has some grand plan. She always does. You all right? You look terrible. Shay challenged Hedda to a duel. She's been taken. A duel? Oh. Of course. Okay. Listen, you remember that weird droid signal we used earlier? A new one popped up on my scanners, led me right here. I thought you sent it, but clearly not. Shay was leaving a trail to follow. This is Hedda's base. If those two are gonna fight, it's here. Understood. And thanks for the help. I didn't get a chance to scout much out before running into your friends here, but it's big. Looks like an old military installation. Maybe a missile silo? Shielded like nothing I've ever seen. Glad I had the tech at the relay station. Now that was a fight. Once we got in, I worked on securing comms, but we were interrupted by that Varad patrol you warned us about. We threw them a bad surprise party. Akavia is searching for the ones that got away. I'm surprised you risked comms. I wasn't gonna let them get the jump on you. Appreciate it. I won't tell Jakai about it, though. He'd get all starchy about operational integrity or something. Oh, one more thing. 
I heard a lot of chatter at the relay station about a false alarm. That mean anything to you? Hedda's ships are coming back. We don't have much time. Never do. We need to get a message to Jakaya and the fleet. Maybe he can leverage a tactical advantage if it comes to it. First things first. Right. Find Shay, shoot Hedda, and bring this whole place down. A few more of these should be a good start, right? Let's go. Explosive is set. Another one ready. Hey, keep an eye out for anything I can rig to send a message to Jakaya. to go. Hang on, let me check something. Okay, looks like I can get a message out to Jakaya through this, but it's gonna take some time. Down there is a service tunnel into the main area. It kills me, but I have to stay here and do this. Hedda's fleet can't be far away. Find Shay. I'm counting on you. to show you something. A weapon. One of the greatest ever created. It's been honed, tested, and delivered to devastating effect. On every one of us. The banner of Clan Kadera. Mandalore the Vindicated made us puppets of other powers. When the Kaderas resisted, he branded them traitors. My parents stood with them. For defending Mandalorian honor, they were slaughtered. This banner has been a symbol of shame for decades. A bloody reminder of what happens when you don't obey. Those who would keep us silent are the enemy. Are we not the greatest warriors in the galaxy? Are we not worthy of forging our own destiny? Then we must fight. First, by destroying our enemy's greatest weapon. 
our obedience. Then, by exposing their weakness, Shay Visla, come and face me. Gladly, Pretender. Something's wrong. Shay's in trouble. You? Well, ain't this a kick to the shebs? What's going on here? I'm just making sure Hedda ends up on top. I got a lot riding on this. It took four of these babies to stop you, so I figured if I use just one on Shea Vizsla, the odds get much better for me. <laughs> Hedda doesn't know about this, of course. Don't want to step on her precious honor. Shut it off. Wait, wait, wait! Hear me out! If Hedda wins, I get a huge payday! Huge! You let me finish this my way, and Darmanda walks away from Hedda's pointy horns and anything to do with the hidden chain. She loses our support. You understand me? Hey, hey, I'll even sweeten the deal. Darmanda supplies your side a fat discount on weapons, supplies, whatever, for the war. Wow. Hmm. And between you and me, she ain't looking too good. You might as well get something out of this. Walk away. And that is Hedda's fleet arriving. Let me guess. Your fleet? We're out of time. 
Leave right now and Darmanda drops out of this and backs your side instead. So, what's it gonna be? This will be a fair fight, no matter the cost. Thought you were smarter than this. Only an idiot passes up a sure thing. This is about honor. You wouldn't understand. Just cost me a lot of credits. I can live with that.
you! Must be my lucky day! Rakan! Got him on the run. Do not pursue. I repeat, do not pursue. What about Hedda's fleet? We used that storm to launch an ambush of our own. It wasn't pretty, but it put them on the run. Mandalore, can you hear me? Jakaya? I'm right here. We're getting you out. Where is she? Hedda's gone. Hartuk! It's not over. We'll find her. You can bet on that. Just tell him, Ras. What's going on? An old enemy has crawled out of the muck. Rakan. He's the one who singled me out during the fight. I swore I'd kill him the next time I saw him. What's the story there? 
Two years ago, Rakan was part of a group helping the imps on Belsavis. And they were good. Experienced, skilled, all that. The Republic hired their own team to stop them. Our... Our sister Layla was in charge. There were casualties, for both sides. The imp mission failed, but Rakan escaped. Layla didn't make it. Rakan blamed us, all of Clan Ordo, for his failure. We didn't understand why a mercenary took things so personally. It's clear now. He was part of Hedda Cole's inner circle. He's responsible for losing her best people on Belsavis. He failed her, not just the mission. My condolences. I didn't know. Layla was a Mandalorian. She died as well as any warrior could ask, with a weapon in her hand and facing the enemy. I can see her, holding that old training blade she never got rid of, swearing a streak as they came at her. Grinning, eyes bright. Come, we should see how Mandalore fares. How's she doing? Her wounds are significant, but she is recovering. You should talk with her. I'm fine, Jakaya. This new implant will take some getting used to, but I don't need a nursemaid. That's for the best. None would put up with you as a patient, Great Mandalore. All of those battles have loosened your brain, as well as your tongue, wise arbiter. Ah, uh, sorry to interrupt. We got nothing. After Hedda's fleet disengaged, they jumped. Could be anywhere. Did we find anything at the base? Not much. Those techs you ran into were happy to go through Hedda's systems, so we'll keep searching. Hard proof aside, it's clear that Rakan's sister, Sahar, is working with Hedda. And she has a Sith relic. That can't be good. Malgus wanted it, and now Hedda has it. I need to put her in the ground before this gets any worse. And now for some good news. Tales of your victory have traveled faster than the best smuggler ships. Agreed. And no need to be insulting. My sincerest apologies. But, Mandalore, why did you stop me from mentioning Hedda's machine? It was clearly there for her to cheat. I don't believe she was behind it. Her reputation would suffer. If the machine was used on me, I wager it was shut down in time. Wouldn't you agree? I wanted a fair fight. A risky move, considering the wounds I had taken. My life or my honor? The choice was always clear, Shay. You think like a Mandalorian. The duel was always mine to win or lose. No excuses. Hedda Cole and her hidden chain will need more than that to tear the Mandalorians apart. The hunt continues. Nothing will stand in my way. Shay Vizsla proved more resourceful than I anticipated. She won. With all my plans, all my preparation, she still won. This was always a test, Field Marshal. One that you passed. A secret duel on a fringe planet. This won't be a secret for long. That only helps our cause. Win or lose, you stood your ground, and Shay needed a whole fleet to rescue her. Your movement, all of this. Became real. Very real, yes. My base is gone, and she's victory salting my wounds. We must prepare for war, even as we retreat. I trust you will see us through. What do you propose? My sister has knowledge of a powerful new weapon. Rakan! What? Am I wrong? 
You hold the key. That was just between us. You promised to help me. I will. There is nothing more important to me. But this weapon, it's too dangerous. Then people with honor should control it. We both know the cost of being powerless. A weapon? Is this true, Sahar? Yes. Darth Malgus himself has his eye on it. Intriguing. Rikan, make sure no one interrupts us. <laughs> 